Come on, on hold, let's do this. First thing we need to do is fall back to this high ground. Forty two enemies. <laughs> this is going to take a while. Now, it said a few necros uh, necromancers. So I'm prepared to bet that there's going to be like a northern position of enemies. Normally, when it says a few necro necromancers, it means there's two or three of them. If there's two or three, there'll be a couple here. And then there would normally be like a uh, a small group of zombies and another necromancer up here. But this is where the unhold started. Up here is where the unhold started. So that's probably not going to be the case. Yeah, go there. Come here. You go there. Get back there. So we want to use utilize this high ground and these choke points, basically. Hold the high ground and the choke points and let the zombies and the unholds fight it out. There's one necromancer. <clears throat> yeah, you're good there. Ubaid can come back here. You're good there. Ninja can go there. Tuck you in there. Yeah, there you go. I think the unholds are going to get wrecked. But they should kill a bunch of the zombies. What we want, actually, is while the unholds are fighting the zombies and distracting half of them, we want our cleaver boys to come down here and start decapping zombies so they can't be resurrected. So I'm going to put you there. Let me put you there. Oh, there's a setting that I forgot to turn off as well. Which is auto. Oh, I've got auto end turns off. Okay, good. Never mind. Um, yeah, you're good there. You're good there. Cleaver boys, forward.
Yeah, basically that's what I'm hoping. The unholds are going to lose to the zombies, but what they'll hopefully do is fuck up a whole load of armor on the fallen heroes. So we don't have to worry so much about the armor. Um, chewing through the armor of the uh, the all the fallen heroes. There's two necromancers that we can see so far. One's there, and the other one is next to him. Oh, okay. So they're both next to each other. One zombie down. <clears throat> nice, get rid of his entire armor in one hit. Back, you demons, back. Right, start moving up towards the necromancers. Step up and block them. 
charge, man. Oh, the unholds are just crushing it. I thought the unholds would be in trouble, but they're not. They're absolutely decimating. So it looks like we're going to be fighting unholds. Oh, that guy, that necromancer did a dagger attack and it hit an unhold. That means the unholds have got onto the necromancers. So actually, the unholds are going to absolutely crush their lines, kill the necromancers. We don't need to worry about them. We're going to be fighting the, um, un uh, the unholds, obvious, obvious layer. So we want to start positioning ourselves so we can handle the unholds when they come in. The unholds are just decimating. So one necromance has been untouched so far. He's, he's, I thought he was in range of stepping and attacking. Oh, the unholds are just wrecking up here, so I don't need to worry. Although I do want their weapons. Do we get their weapons if the unholds get the kills? I don't think so. Even if we win the fight, I think it, you only get weapons if you get the kill. And I want these axes to sell, so I'm going to move up. Although we have to do it piecemeal because we need to surround and kill each unhold as they come. We can't let ourselves get too spread out. So you can finish. Stop hitting his fucking shield. You've got 82% chance to hit. And you fucking cretins have hit his shield like four times. There's another one. You fucking hell. Yeah, 
Yeah, here come the unholds. You can move back into position. You can move up. Sounds like a bloodbath, I love it. Fuck off! So annoying. I just want to get the unholds now. Get you all recovered so you can decapitate the unholds. Yeah, the necromancer is now fucked. Because he has an unhold on him. These unholds really helped out. They completely clobbered everything. Uh, you can just recover and stay there. We didn't get those axes though, unfortunately. There's not much I can do about that. This is too far away. Probably should have charged their front lines. Didn't realize the unholds would be so close up here. Uh, recover. Basically, I didn't want to get the unholds on me and the undead on me and be fighting all of them on all fronts. That's why I retreated to the southwest first, but if I hadn't done that, we might have moved, been able to move up and um, taken the... just Indom. And gotten the, what's it called, the weapons, the axes that I wanted. Good. Keep him in place. Tank him. So there you have it. Unholds absolutely wreck undead. There goes the necromancer, snapped like a twig. You're fine there. Oh, someone needs to control this unhold, actually. No, actually, you're fine there. He can do what he wants. Presumably, he'll come forward, he'll charge into here. But uh, that'll be death for him, so you can wait in case he does. Uh, shield wall. Moved over that way. Okay.
This <laughs> is just a bloodbath, look at that. <laughs> his other weapon, a hammer, he's only got two hammers so he won't be that useful against uh, unholds still, come back here it's extra damage, damage is damage yeah this fight so far has taken about half an hour so I'm glad, 20 minutes actually so I'm glad I waited until this episode <laughs> They're playing football with him. Good, they're nice and separated so we can handle them one at a time. Not that there's much threat from normal unholds, but strategically it's good to just uh, take them one at a time. That way you can focus fire and just do maximum damage. Prick. Oh, I could get that. useful. Come down here so you're ready for the next unholds. You can wait. You can recover. You can recover. You can equip actually that first and then recover. You can decapitate him. Wait. 
Hits in Dom. Kill. Very nice. Come down to here. Come to here. Come to here. doesn't it, boy? Take away their confidence. Shit, ninja's getting thrown quite a lot. I don't like that. Might have to retreat him just to be safe. Don't want him losing too much health for the next fight, basically. It's not worth it. We don't need him in particular at this point. Okay, just surround yourself, that's fine.
at this point, the most dangerous move is their throw. Just because he goes through armor and automatically deducts hit points, you can't do much, can't do anything to stop it. Uh, just finish. We're going to have so many large quivers from this, it's going to be awesome. Double hit, that's surprising. Yeah, this fight's taken half an hour. Go all out, finish them. Doesn't do much damage, but does something and it, o it overwhelms him, so. Nice decapitation. <laughs> Guess just can recover. There we go. Beautiful. Half an hour fight. Look at all that. We got a military cleaver. We got a two-handed sword. We got two flails and a winged mace. We didn't get any of the two-handed axes that I wanted. We got two more quivers and all this to sell. Like literally like 12 items to sell. More than that because it's 5, 15 items to sell. Very nice. And we got fuck ton of XP, but XP doesn't really matter for these boys anymore. Repair, 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 repair. Nice. Okay, let's continue to up here. Well, let's let's explore the wilds actually while we're going. Come up onto these mountains. We'll come up over here, and then hopefully Drew. See if we can do Gull Garash. Okay, nothing over there. Guardians keep ruins. Many marksmen, lots of raiders, a leader, and a hedge knight. So this we're going to do at night because it's many marksmen. We're not going to put our archers in. Oh, actually, we could do. It's still dust. Yeah, we can put our archers in for this, I think. So you come out for you. You go in for you. Whoops. You for you. You for him. Your max level. You're close to being max level. Put the strongest thrower on the end there. Light tank can come out. Ninja can have his sword and board back. His dagger and board because he's going to go after the hedge knight. Beastly two-hander goes back there. Oh no, you're the beastly two-hander even. You're the worst. Yeah, you come out. 
good two-hander. There we go. Three back line boys, the tank, one thrower, one noob with training, and the two cultists. Yep, perfect. So everyone's okay, right? How are we doing? Full health, full, full, full. Everyone should be full health apart from the ninja who missed, a, who got thrown a couple of times. But he should be fine. Right, yeah, let's do it. 20 minutes, 25 minutes should be enough to kill them. 23 of them. Oh, it's in the forest as well, I forgot. Huh. But we can reach their front line, so go for it. Shame. Oh, because he didn't have bow mastery, he can't quite reach. This is interesting. Oi! This is interesting, having this, like, locked off up there. So that means we're going to have to come from here down this way. We're pretty much going to have a front position like that, locking this off. And then, yeah. Okay. There's the leader. leader's got some good gear. The wolf. Let's see what the hedge knight has. So, tank's going to go there. Ninja's going to hang back and see where the other guy goes. So, you can come. Tank can go here, yeah. This guy here. Fuck it, where's the... Don't know if the Hedge Knight's up here or down here. He's already waited, so... Just come to the centre for the moment and wait there. Are they going to step forward and swing is the question. No, they're just holding their ground. We can wait. Right, release the bird. Let's see where the hedge knight is. Oh, he's garbage. He's got his Y-hander, but his arm is shite. It's disappointing. Look at this fort as well. Look at all the uh, blockages they've got. So them coming towards us is going to be just as hard. Basically. I want to kill these two-handed... These long-range... Uh, long axes, that's what they're called. I want to kill the long axes before they retreat. But look, they've got nothing but archers in the middle. So if we puncture into them, it'll be no problem. They'll probably start moving forward though now and start attacking. I need 20 minutes left of this episode. Hopefully we can wrap it up before the episode ends. Otherwise, I'll have to just end it and then tie, kill them off. Kill them off. Uh, off screen, basically. Off stream, yeah. That's what I mean. Off stream is what I mean, yo. I'm a rapper. Yeah, whatever. Kill. Step forward. Step forward and shield wall. I should have moved next to the tree, actually. That was silly. Whatever. Step forward and kill him. Thank you. Forward. Fuck him up. Ninja again. Come into the centre because I don't know where the hedge knight's going to go. We want to dagger down the leader and the hedge knight, if, if possible. I 
Chances are, by the time we get to the hedge knight, he will have just legged it. Good, there goes the artillery. Shouldn't have left them exposed, actually, the archers. Need to be careful about that. Wait. That's all the throwing weapons gone. Barely scratched me. Stop it! So many marksmen. I've never seen so many marksmen. Where's the hedge knight going to go? He's not going anywhere. What a pansy. All right. Well. Yeah, tank going there. Step forward and fuck him up. Yeah, that's a good position for you. still can wait you can come in here or just here no you can't throw no matter where you go no long range weapons yeah well I don't quite go in there but come in here and you can start dealing with the archers Sniper coming nice and close. You've got cover. Twenty two percent chance. Leaving their leader completely exposed. Ah, there we go. The hedge knight's going there, is he? So we're going to come here and shield wall. Just to tie up the hedge knight. We'll go there. Attack the archer. Don't want to damage this guy's armor. So you can just wait. Um, not in particular danger here. So go for the kill. Very nice. Uh, he's throwing weapons. So kill him. Ah, oh, failed, unfortunately. Kill him, thank you. And come behind the tank so you can kill more. Uh, do, 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 rotate the ninja in. And then basically you're done. Just stay there. Right, ninja, kill the leader. Very nice, good work. Oh, I didn't see that. That's a good move by the AI, but that wasn't. Oh, missed the last puncture. 85%. I'll show you how to throw, son. Sixty yet, yeah, perfect.
Lots of targets. Probably the best one. Good kill, Adler. Very nice. Shoot into their archers. You might get a lucky hit. No. Kill the archer. Always go for the archers first because they're the dangerous RNG random get a bolt in the face. Uncontrollable. Oh, you fucker. You destroyed the shield. Oh, shit. Big hit on him. Hit him in the head. What were the odds of that? Twenty-two, and he rolled a seven. Cut his fucking head off. Teach him a lesson. Killing my shield, little shit. Shield wall again. Uh, you're fine actually, but you can move here and stab. Yep, very good. Um, kill this guy since you're close. Get your big axe, big ass man splitter out and fuck him up. Step forward, so he's shitting himself. Very good. Good. You can just recover. For these guys are going to come down in a minute. We need you. Oh, he stabbed him once through the armor. Love it. Right. You're going to approach the ninja in a bit. In the Not the ninja. The hedge knight in a minute. And it's going to be dangerous for you. So you need to recover. Um, what have we got? 64. No, I want them to coming in. This guy's throwing. So go for him. Ricardo, nice shot. Very good. Oh, stop tying up the ninja. You. Oh, that's that's not good. He's still not in danger yet, but it's not the best that he's taking shots from this guy. Probably have to rotate him out, actually. You need to free the ninja up so he can get to the hedge knight. Fuck's sake. don't like the fact that he'll have a shot on me there so I don't like moving up to this guy just charging up to him and not getting any attacks off it's dangerous we can always rotate him out so go for a ninja uh, you can this guy's full health just shield wall and then get some more ammo out oh no you've, you're fine you're just tied up in combat Yeah, all it would take is the knight to hit this guy once with a fucking Zwei hander and a crossbow bolt to finish him off and yeah, he'd be dead. Just hoping for a headshot there. Shame. Here comes the hedge knight. Dodge it, ninja. Oh, good. He did a round swing. Did an AOE. What was his odds? 48. 48 is quite high. Uh, we want to kill this guy because then we can rotate the ninja out if he gets into danger. So chop his head off. Very nice. Yep, just go and mark these idiots so they don't get away. Step forward and kill him, thank you. Step back so you're behind cover. Right, start coming up here. 
shield wall again. Uh, start chasing these archers away. Uh, step up so you can kill that guy. Whack. Okay. 75%. Good start. So he's got a pierced hand, an injured shoulder, and he's overwhelmed twice. So now it should be more like 10% chance to hit. Twenty-one percent. Twenty-one percent. Just shooting blindly here. Yeah, 5% chance to hit now. All good. Get this back out. Kill him. Thank you. And yeah, step in. So the archers are locked down, tied down. You can wait because he's running. Uh, come up to there. Fight a bit of shield wall. Recover. I was hoping that would be a kill. It still double overwhelmed him at least. So again, I'll only have like 5% chance of hitting. See if I can bait this guy into coming down. percent chance. We're good now. Uh, we don't have taunt. Do I not have taunt on my tanks? I think I changed the build to include taunt um, for the future. Okay, got five minutes. We can wrap this up in five minutes, can't we, boys? We just need the ninja to uh, ninja to actually hit his next puncture, and we're good. Come on, Ninja, you can hit this. What are the odds? 90% for the kill. Thank you. That's it. Game done. Just in, just in the nick of time. I think everyone's going to get away, though. All these guys are going to get away. Oh, nice. Just a couple of extra kills at the end. Yeah, that's it. Can't reach him. Don't really care, either. That was what, two archers and one duelist got away. We got loads of XP for our archers. We got loads of loot. Look at all this, goodies. No famed weapons, but two long axes, two tier three weapons, arming sword, the helmet and stuff. Glorious. And that's the episode as well. Perfect.